back to Topless Baker. Now you know me and I love macarons. If you haven't seen my macaron video all about how to make different types of macarons, there is a button on your YouTube screen, which will take you to that video. But one of the comments I got and really good suggestion was, Matt, what should I fill my macarons with? Like, give me some ideas. So today I'm gonna to show you three really easy, different fillings that you can add to your macarons. Now one, which is not included in this, is buttercream. You can add buttercream. This video here takes you to lots of different buttercream recipes that you can use, but I don't like buttercream in a macaron because I think macarons are quite sweet and they need something a little bit darker, a little bit maybe sourer. So I'm gonna show you three things. I'm gonna show you how to make a lemon curd, a chocolate ganache, and a white chocolate and strawberry ganache. And they're three just different ideas. So we're gonna start with a lemon curd, which is one of my favorites. So in a bowl, I've got some sugar and a lemon zest. Now, if you have a really fancy blender, you can blend this all together so it's super fine. I've not got a fancy blender with me. But I'm gonna put this over a bain and there's a lot of whisking to be done here, all right? So I'm gonna add in the juice of a whole lemon. I'm gonna add in butter, two eggs, and I'm just literally gonna whisk this over a medium heat until it's thick. It might take five minutes, it might take seven minutes. We're just gonna keep whisking, keep whisking until it's nice and thick and you've got a lovely curd. And that's basically it, it's how easy, one pan. That easy. Now that took me about four minutes. So it's quite a lot of whisking and it's really important that you're whisking all the time because otherwise what you'll end up is a lemon omelet. And I like omelets and I like lemon, but I do not like lemon omelets. So keep stirring because otherwise the eggs are gonna scramble. And then you should end up with a mixture that is thick but still relatively runny. So it's important that it's still runny because we're gonna chill this now. It's not ready to use. So I'm gonna pour it into a glass and you can double this mixture. I just didn't double it because I would have been whisking forever. So I just, I didn't want to do that to myself, but this will be enough to fill like 20 macaron shells. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this in the fridge and I want to chill it for two, three hours or overnight if you can. And that will thicken up. So it looks really runny, but it will thicken up overnight in the fridge and it will firm up and then it will be perfect to pipe into our macaron shells. So that is one easy filling done. On to the next. Filling number two is a chocolate ganache. Very simple, a ganache is just cream and chocolate. But there are a few very key steps because ganache can go wrong. And believe you me, I have messed up a gazillion ganaches. Gazillion ganaches, that's, I mean, that doesn't even make sense. The first step is you've got to chop your chocolate pretty finely. This probably isn't fine enough, but I just couldn't be bothered to do it anymore. So chop your chocolate up really finely and put it in a ceramic bowl. So if you put it in a metal bowl, I don't feel like it works as well. So I put it in something ceramic or glass, and then we've got cream. So I've got about 180 grams of chocolate and 200 grams of cream. So just a little bit more double of heavy cream than it is to chocolate, just because I find that ratio works really well. And we're gonna put this on, if I could switch it on, we're gonna put this on a medium heat, and we're gonna bring it to just till it's a boil, all right? Don't have it going bah, 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 bubbling like crazy because it's gonna be too hot and you're gonna split your ganache. So just boil it until it's like steaming. There are bubbles at the side and there's a few kind of bubbles bubbling up in the middle, but you don't want it at a rolling boil. As soon as it comes to that hot steamy temperature, pour it over your chocolate and leave it there for about three minutes, right? That's gonna give it time for the chocolate to melt and then just whisk it together and you should have a really nice smooth ganache. Now, when you're making the cream, just give it a little bit of a shake because otherwise you can get a little bit of a skin on top of your cream, which we don't want. So just shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Once it comes to temperature, pour it over, leave it for three minutes. Got it? Yeah, you got it. So once you've let it rest for three to four minutes and then you whisk it all together, you are left with a glorious unsplit ganache, all right? And it should look glorious and lovely like this, but there are times when it splits because it's split on me a million times. So I've got a little tip for you, all right? So what you want to do is heat up some milk just till it's warm. Right, not boiling, not cold, just until it's warm. And you can whisk in a tablespoon of warm milk at a time into a mixture. And if it has split and looks oily, just whisk that in, it should pull it back together. So that works most times for me. But now at the moment, this is kind of spreadable, but it's maybe slightly too runny. So I'm just gonna leave it at room temperature just until it thickens up a little bit and then it can be piped. It should take 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or if you want to really speed things up, you can put it in the fridge, but just don't leave it into the fridge for too long, because otherwise it will set really hard. We don't want that to happen. Right, we've got that to the one side. Now we're gonna get on with the third one, which is the white chocolate and strawberry ganache. The third and final filling is a white chocolate and strawberry ganache. So I like to add a little bit of fruit in. You can keep this 
as a white chocolate ganache. If you just want to keep it as that, you can use the same recipe and just exclude the strawberry. But instead of doing like the chocolate ganache where we had more cream than chocolate, we've actually got a lot more chocolate here than cream. So it's actually three parts chocolate, one part cream. And it's really important when you're doing this to use a good quality white chocolate because white chocolate can be fake from a lot of supermarkets, not really white chocolate. Um, so make sure you get a really good quality, something like a Calibre or a Valrona, I think that's how you say it, like a professional chocolate, it works really well. So I've got some cream, some more double cream, heavy cream in a pan. And I'm gonna start, this is strawberry puree by the way, this is literally blended strawberry, so I just blended it. I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of strawberry puree. I might add more later, it's just kind of how strawberry I wanna make it. I'm gonna put this on a very low heat. I'm gonna add in, my chocolate chips, and I'm literally just gonna stir this together until it's melted. It is really that simple. Now, once you've melted it over your pan, you should be left with quite a runny mixture. And I'll be honest, it does come out a little bit gray. It's not the best looking filling, but it's tasty because that's strawberry in there. And I actually added ending up adding about another two tablespoons of that strawberry puree. So it just depends how kind of strawberry you want it. And I'm gonna pour it into a bowl. And then this is way too runny to pipe. So I'm gonna chill it in the fridge for about 10 minutes and then it should thicken up. And by that point, I'm gonna just whisk it together and it's nice and light and fluffy, but I will show you that. And then we can come back and we can fill all our macaron shells. So here we go, all three fillings are ready. So my ganache is just literally cooled at room temperature. If you chill it in the fridge, it's gonna go pretty firm. So I leave it at room temperature until it's a nice, pipeable consistency. Mm. And then I've got my lemon curd. That's been chilling in the fridge because I made one the other day. That's a really good pipeable consistency. What I didn't say, actually, when you take it out of the pan from stirring it, a good thing is to sieve it because sometimes you can get like lumps of that lemon zest in there and sometimes you don't want that. So just sieve it and then put it into a jar. And then finally, the white chocolate strawberry ganache. I'll be honest, it looks a little bit ugly. It's a little bit gray, but if you want to add some gel food color to make it a funky color, you can. It tastes much better than it looks. That takes a little bit of time to firm up, but then once it's firm, just give it a little bit of a whisk just to bring it all together. Right, I'm gonna pipe them onto some macaron shells and that's it, but I'm just gonna pipe them. Right, here we go, chocolate first. And now I just sandwich these together really carefully, kind of push them down, be gentle about it. Now, one thing I did say earlier was that I don't love buttercream with a macaron, but I was lying. I told you a lie. The best thing for a lemon curd is not to probably fill the whole thing with lemon curd. I would pipe a wall of Swiss meringue buttercream, great recipe that I've got somewhere on my YouTube channel, and then I'd fill the center with lemon curd. Then you get a bit of that vanilla buttercream with lemon curd. This much lemon curd is maybe a little bit too much. I could eat it because I really like lemon, but some of you might find that a little bit offensive. Now make sure when you're piping, you don't pipe all the way to the edge because when you push that shell on top, it goes and the filling, not as horrible as that, squidges to the side. And so if you fill it all the way to the edge and then you put your shell on top, all the spilling spills over. But if you fill it, just leave a little bit of a gap. When you sandwich it on top, you're left with like a nice even filling that reaches the edge of your shell. And there you have it. Three really easy way to fill macarons. Chocolate ganache, lemon curd, and a white chocolate strawberry ganache. All delicious. Personally, my favorite, chocolate ganache and then lemon curd with a little bit of buttercream. But there you go. If you've got any more comments or you've got suggestions of what you would have in a macaron, put it in the comments because everyone likes to hear what everyone else likes. And see you guys next time for more Topless Baker. Bye.